Hey guys, it's Nate and Majora. And uh, today I wanted to show you guys around my game room. Um, been trying to figure out a, a way to do this video without drawing it out too long or whatever, but I'll try to keep it pretty brief and uh, just kind of give you guys an overview of all the stuff that I got. And um, just wanted to show my cat off, really. Oh god. Oh god. Look at this cat. Oh my god, look at this cat, guys. Let's check out my game room. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour of my game room here. Um, I got this house about a year and a half ago, pretty pretty close to that anyway. And uh, my only stipulation was that I needed a basement, because as you can see, I got a lot of, a lot of stuff that I needed to, to put somewhere. But um, anyways, I'm going to kind of go over everything pretty briefly. I'm not going to focus too much on anything in particular, because I'll probably do some separate videos um, on some more specifics, I guess, later in the future. But just wanted to give you guys a brief tour of what I got going on. Um, this shelf right here is just some miscellaneous things. My uh, router and modem and just some little toys. Uh, my Virtual Boy. I got this Super Nintendo sign here. Um, up here is just a bunch of plushes. It was never really my intention to uh, accumulate this many plushes, but somehow it happened, and uh, now I'm stuck with them, I guess. But I'm alright with that, I guess. It's okay for a grown-ass man to have some stuffed animals, right? Uh, this is my World of Nintendo retail cabinet. This is my, my favorite part of my collection, actually. I actually found the cabinet on Craigslist for like 40 bucks. About an hour from my house, and uh, it was missing this sign at the top, the little marquee. And um, my buddy Penguin on Nintendo Age had one, and he sold it to me for 50 bucks. And so I was pretty stoked. So the cabinet was completed within like a month of finding it, and uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, mostly in here is just some like miscellaneous uh, like memorabilia from. Mostly vintage stuff from like the early or mid 80s to like mid 90s, I guess. There's some N64 stuff. Um, I'll point out some of the more like weird things, I guess. Uh, this back here is kind of hidden, but it's this pennant from the Mario Ice Capades. Um, if you've never seen that before, I suggest t check it out on YouTube because it's a uh, it's pretty funny. Um, down here is some other stuff. Got some stickers. I got a sticker from the side of an ice cream truck. Don't ask me why I bought that, because I really have no idea. But uh, it was cheap, and <laughs> I just thought it was kind of funny. I don't know. I've uh, got some air fresheners and a light switch cover. A Donkey Kong Country promo pin down there. Some McDonald's toys and a Happy Meal box. This little pin from the hats. A Nintendo Power 1 and a bunch of the pins you would get for subscribing to them. The Mario Shampoo. And down here's some, uh, I guess, like, kitchenware stuff. <laughs> like these these cups, this little egg cup. He's like, one egg, please, and then two teas, please. And I don't know why, but I thought that was amusing. Um, he had a, a bowl with Mario sniffing his own butt with a matching cup. That's cool. Uh, and just all kinds of random stuff. This folder back here, actually, um, I used to have this when I was a kid. And I used to keep my Mortal Kombat 2 fatalities and like special moves written down. So I could take it to the arcade and always have like a reference. Uh, down here's a Princess Peach cookie jar. She actually plays music from Mario World. And there's my cat. Sorry, move, Dora. Uh, this is some <laughs> Nintendo Pogs and some like trading cards from Nintendo Power. And there's some cookie cutters and a cake pan. Uh, moving around here is a Mega Man poster, a Lakitu hanging from the ceiling. And this is all my handheld collection. Uh, across the top is just all my system boxes. Uh, this gray SP right here is actually brand new. It's never been opened. My buddy Jesse got me that for Christmas last year. He had it just like sit on a shelf for a long time. I guess he got an extra one one time for Christmas and... Uh, never opened it. Lucky for me. And it's my Virtual Boy collection. It's the complete US set. And this is just some special edition games for handhelds. 
and my DS collection. Love the DS and 3DS. They're like probably two of my favorite systems of all time. Just the library on the DS especially is just so robust and just there's all kinds of unique things to play on it. My 3DS collection. And below that is my Game Boy Advance, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And down here is PSP and my cat's tail. She is just a little camera whore. Uh, this binder's full of Game Boy games. Um, got little sheets printed out, and, but I'm not going to go through all those. And over here's my Game Gear. And then up here's my Kirby Triple Deluxe, like, counter display. And my Figmas. Really love these guys. And here's the Nendoroids. And some Mega Man figures. And down below is my two Zelda Dark Horse statues. And across the Donkey Kong wall is my TV and a computer hooked up behind it. Play a lot of Steam games on there. Got Retro 5 hanging out down there that I play most of my, my retro stuff on now. Uh, Rob and my Power Glove and Top Loader. My first form figures Mario statue. And this... Uh, Yoshi's Island DS statue. This was given out to GameStop managers at E3 or some convention, I believe. Um, a funny story about that. Actually, I got it on eBay. I paid $200 for it, but it came and his hand back here was broken. So I filed a complaint with UPS because the guy that sent it had it pa had it packaged at a UPS store. And they refunded my money. And so I got it for free. And the seller got his money, so... Everybody was happy but UPS, I guess. Uh, just some other Mario figures. A couple Zelda figures as well. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission standee. Uh, up here on this bookshelf is just all kinds of stuff. Just promo items and like a Pez dispenser. I don't know, just all kinds of stuff that I got for like pre-order bonuses and stuff over the years or things that were given to me. All these Pepsi caps my friend Adam gave me. Club Nintendo rewards. I don't know, just all kinds of stuff you accumulate. And it's not as organized as it used to be. Um, my cats like to mess around with it sometimes. And it's my Mega Man collection. I'm a huge fan of Mega Man. Uh, it's my Mega Man 9 press kit. This was just pretty limited. I can't remember the exact number, but less than 200, I think, exist. And, uh, was really happy to be able to get that. Over here is a fan-made Mega Man 10 press kit. Um, I think even less of those were made, but not nearly as desirable, I don't think, because it wasn't official, but still pretty cool to have. And some other Mega Man figures. And back up a little bit so I can get a wide shot. This is all my console games. Um, these first two shelves over here are my NES collection. Um... I started collecting NES games in, well, I guess since I started playing them, but really started looking for, like, the complete set my freshman year of high school, I guess. And uh, then sometime later, I decided to try to get them all boxed, and that's been a interesting endeavor. One that I maybe regret starting a little bit, but um, I'm about 620 games into the library, and about 520 of those are boxed, so a lot of good stuff. Mostly I have all the games that I like really want to play, but it's gotten so expensive to collect for the NES now that I don't know that I'm going to finish the set anytime soon. And that's unfortunate, because it really is a fun, fun little hobby, but the prices have gotten so outrageous that it has just killed the fun for me. Um, as far as my NES games go, you know, I don't have a lot of the super heavy hitters. I do have a couple of the more rare and hard to find ones here, like 
uh, panic restaurant. Where to go? I'm missing it. Oh, it's right there. A panic restaurant complete in box. That one's pretty expensive now. But, uh, you know, I'm not really in it for value. Um, this stadium event here is a reproduction. I'm not about to pay whatever, $20,000 or whatever the last one went for. No thanks. Yeah, the Sesame Street Trilogy. Everybody needs that in their collection, right? And then I've got some loose cartridges below. And well, I guess I could pan around these figures up here. I forgot. And let's see, I got my Sega Genesis collection. Um, I was actually a Genesis kid growing up, surprisingly. I started out with the NES, but got a Genesis um, with my birthday money, I guess, one year. I got it over a Super Nintendo. I don't remember why. I think the Sonic the Hedgehog commercials were a little, uh, little more extreme than the Super Nintendo commercials. So as like a 10-year-old kid or a 9-year-old kid, that marketing really spoke to me, I suppose. <laughs> but um, I guess later on in life, I became more of a, a fan of the Super Nintendo. There's my SNES collection down here. Love the Super Nintendo. All kinds of really good games for it. And then down here, the end of it, and then we get to some repro, repro games, homebrew games, ROM hacks, and some more miscellaneous loose carts down there, and my Xbox collection. And up here's my Wii games. Uh, I was a huge fan of the Wii, um, last generation. It's probably my favorite system of the three, um, just... The games on on the system appeal to my taste a little more than the AAA things on Xbox and PS3. Um, there are a few AAA games that I enjoy, but for the most part, I like more quirky, like niche titles, I suppose. And obviously, Nintendo. Um, I think the Wii is going to have kind of a legacy, much like the Sega Saturn, where uh, I think people are going to find out that there was a lot of good stuff on it, but by the time they realize it, all the good games are going to be scooped up and maybe a little expensive. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Down here's GameCube. Again, I was a huge fan of the GameCube of that generation as well. It's my PS3 collection. Nothing uh, super outrageous, but curated to my tastes fairly well, I suppose. And some soundtracks and my lone Sega CD game. There's my Year of Luigi shelf. And my Sega Master System games. And down below that is PS2. And PS1. There's some Dreamcast games hidden down here. And let's see. This shelf over here has got my Amiibo collection. Um, some other miscellaneous little Mario figurines at the top there. Um, I've got all the Amiibos that are released so far. Um, the next wave is coming out really soon. These figures here are the Mario Ferrudos. They come in little chocolate eggs and, uh, you have to put them together. They're really cool because they have a lot of characters that you don't normally see figures for, like Spike and, like, the Mecha Koopa and Birdo back there and, I don't know, really like those things. And then this wall is just some, uh, these promo... There were like ceiling hangers from McDonald's from like 91 or whenever that promo was going on. And then my closet here, I've got just all my system boxes and all kinds of stuff just packed to the ceiling in there. Um, 
down here is my CRT TV. I've got a bunch of consoles hooked, hooked up to it. Um, whenever I'm feeling super nostalgic or want to play like a light gun game, I pull that out. Got it pretty hooked up where all I got to do is plug in like one plug to the power strip over here and everything's ready to go. Uh, these bins over here are just full of all kinds of crap, toys and a lot of loose controllers. But nothing, nothing super exciting in there, I guess. Just a bunch of boxes. Um, these two signs here from the Nintendo Service Centers. Uh, this one's made of metal. Super, super good condition. Uh, you can see it's kind of embossed. I don't know if the light's picking up the embossing. Or you can kind of see it there. Um, super nice. Uh, this one up here is missing a part. There's a part that hangs above it that uh, I don't have, and I'd love to find it. These two signs were from Club Nintendo. And then these shelves just got all kinds of junk that I need to organize. Here's my desk. It's a it's a mess right now, so we'll we'll pass over that. I got these two posters from Toys R Us. Uh, my buddy Adam gave these to me because he used to work there. But um, yeah, super awesome. They're huge too. And I got a little Tetris light and little Mario's and Yoshi's hanging from everywhere. Um, this is my Bowser and Clown Car perler bead thing that I made. Uh, it took me a really long time. Pretty proud of it because he's he's huge. And some other little toys. Connects Mario figures up there. These little bouncy balls with the little power-ups. They're pretty neat. And finally we have uh, my video game books and magazines and strategy guides. Uh, these are all my art books. And some strategy guides. I'm a big fan of the Nintendo Power player's guides. It's probably some of my favorites. And I like the newer, like, collector's edition hard guides as well. And below that is just some, uh, other books and strategy books and manga. And then the Zelda guide chest. And then all these are issues 1 through 200 of Nintendo Power. I've got the rest of them in a box in the closet, but... These are the ones that are out right now and most interesting. And then this binder is just full of all kinds of miscellaneous paperwork and ephemera. I'll get to that one day as well. But um, anyways, guys, that is my game room. just want to give you guys a little tour real quick. But uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we will talk to you next time.